Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial and this will be an easy one. 8 lines in your step event and then you basically get this easy movement which you're seeing. For that you just need to get your input. So I'm pressing up left and right to steer. So this is it. And then well, I'm just changing the direction and while, while pressing I'm having a speed of 2 else it's 0. So easy, easy, easy stuff. Yeah. So if you like what you're seeing, consider subscribing, sharing and liking. That would be sweet to show the YouTube or Google algorithm that stuff is actually relevant for you guys. So let's start with the easy peasy stuff because hey, let's make this as transparent as possible. So, so what you're having is just object with this sprite attached, so this race car and what I'm just doing, I'm just changing its direction depending if I'm pressing left or right. So this is what it's doing nothing else. So it has a starting direction which is zero. Let's make it 90 so we are facing upwards and then we're just pressing let's say in one direction or another one then well, we are steering. This is just it. So once again easy peasy stuff. So let's kill all that so you can see the whole procedure. So what I do in, at the very beginning I give it a direction of 90. Why? Well because as you can see it's pointing to the right not the most optimal way to start the race if you are not facing upwards, at least in this situation. Yeah, so just make it 90. And then what we are getting here, and this is the very, very easy part, I want to get uh, the controls. So I'm just storing into uh, two variables, I call them left and right. And then I'm just saying like, hey, are you pressing your keyboard? And then, well, on your keyboard, the VK left. So this is basically your arrow keys so if you don't know that arrow keys vk left and vk right and then what i do i'm just saying hey if you are pressing one of those keys so let's say for example the left one then what do i do well i update my direction so plus equals i don't know let's go for two and, and this is basically it and of course we can do that for the right belt uh, uh, keyboard button and then well we just go for minus and of course we want to see that effect because for now this would be doing nothing therefore we just say image angle come on come on image angle is direction come on okay let's kill this and then for example once we start the game you will see that if i'm pressing left or right i'm just turning this thing around which is well the, the desired result of course if i'm pressing it is not going too fast, which is a good thing. I don't want it to go too fast, else well, this would be kind of trivial as a racing game. So the first thing which we did here, easy peasy stuff. Of course, little uh, note, if you are having a sprite, well, align it at the middle center, so it turns around correctly. And then this is, this is a smoke. Let's forget about that. And what do we want to have as a second thing? Well, an action button and this one I would call drive but you can call it action or whatever var drive and then once again we are just checking hey are we pressing drive of course you can write it like this or you can go with the double equals that is the same this is just short for equals one so little side note hopefully you understand this syntax here and then what do we do well we say hey our speed is i don't know let's go for three and then what we would be doing once we pressed our button then we would be having a speed always of three which we don't want therefore we just go for else and then we say hey if we are not pressing our uh, drive button then we go for zero and let's make it a little bit more readable come on come on as you can see so this is how the uh, well, game maker would read it so are we pressing the drive button sweet speed of three are we not pressing speed of zero so therefore we have the else in between and we are pretty much done eight lines hopefully it's eight and as you can see ooh, this is going quite fast now and as you can see wow but it's kind of snappy as you can see so here you can of course improve on that but this is just to give you a very quick wow impression that it does work and of course the other thing which i did here i didn't want to mention it but well we can actually go over it quite fast so i'm just having a timer 
which runs down other than so if I'm pressing my uh, drive button so only if I'm driving then we have having a timer a time value of I don't know what kind of value do we have eight and then well this time value goes down and once it is zero we reset it to the amount or you can go for eight it doesn't really matter I just have to, I like to have a little bit more control and then uh, lengthier lengthier why if you don't know these things link in the description below a little video about that and then I'm just creating a object smoke which is well pretty much empty it just has animation and so once the this animation ends it destroys itself and then well we're having a little smoke effect which is looking pretty cool so that was it as you can see bonus content yeah but this goes quite fast as it seems Jesus yeah okay this is a little bit more difficult to steer so if you want to improve it so you like I don't know rock and roll racing or other games which are arcadey and the very very good old times then you maybe want to um, adapt those values of your speed and how fast you want to turn around to, to make it easier or more difficult depending on how you want to have it so you have a delay because this one is kind of hard delayed if you have small values I don't know let's go for 0 0.5 this will be let's check it out pretty impossible to play <laughs> not impossible but let's say a little bit more difficult so I'm pressing a hard right <clears throat> okay <clears throat> yeah so I need to stop then of course what you see you will have your difficulty inside. So that was pretty much it for today. Have a good one. One up indie.